Since the introduction of the legendary SR-71 Blackbird during the Cold War, the U.S. Air Force has been striving to develop a hypersonic aircraft. However, creating an aircraft capable of surpassing Mach 5 presents an immense challenge. The velocities achieved at these speeds generate such extreme temperatures that they can easily cause the airframe to melt or disintegrate. Luckily, the Air Force has capitalized on new and innovative materials that can withstand such velocities leading to the inception of Project Mayhem. Although limited information is available about the program, the USAF aims to unveil its first hypersonic aircraft by 2028. Leaks have also disclosed that this aircraft will possess the extraordinary capability to fly at Mach 10 speeds, surpassing any existing aircraft in terms of range and payload delivery abilities. The release of certain renders has left analysts in awe offering a tantalizing glimpse into the extraordinary future of hypersonic warfare. Kratos, Defense and Security Solutions Incorporated is dedicated to developing and deploying transformative and cost-effective technology, platforms, and systems for customers involved in U.S. national security, allied nations, and commercial enterprises. Kratos adopts commercial and venture capital-backed approaches, employing proactive research and streamlined development processes to rapidly bring groundbreaking technologies to the market. The company places a strong emphasis on affordability as a technology, harnessing it to the fullest extent across various areas such as satellite communications, hypersonic systems, unmanned platforms, cybersecurity, cyber warfare combat systems, as well as the development of next generation turbojet and fan engines. On January 10, 2023, Kratos made an announcement regarding the Defense and Rocket System Services Division in collaboration with the company's Unmanned Systems Division, securing a contract from their partner, Lidos. This contract aims to provide support for the expendable hypersonic multi-mission ISR and strike program, commonly referred to as the Mayhem program. The primary objective of the program is to assist the U.S. Air Force Research Laboratory in developing an air-breathing hypersonic system specifically for intelligence, surveillance, and reconnaissance purposes. In this capacity, Kratos will act as a member of the System Design Agent (SDA) team for Mayhem. The SDA team is responsible for overseeing the designs, prototypes, and testing of various multi-mission hypersonic missile prototypes. Ultimately, the SDA team will collaborate with industry planners to identify and incorporate the most relevant and effective hypersonic weapon systems into the program. Hypersonic systems utilize scramjet engines to generate thrust, enabling the vehicle to travel at speeds surpassing Mach 5 over significant distances. Kratos, alongside the SDA team, will be focused on developing a large class version of a hypersonic system that outperforms existing air breathing systems in terms of payload capacity and range. This effort encompasses the design and development of airframes, avionics, vehicle subsystems, and propulsion systems. Dave Carter, who serves as the president of the Defense and Rocket System Services Division, DRSS, emphasized the vital role of Kratos as a part of the system design agent SDA team. He stated, Kratos will drive mission success by leveraging our flight-proven agile digital engineering principles and extensive expertise in high-performance propulsion, hypersonic, and air vehicle design. Carter also highlighted Kratos' successful development and flight of other hypersonic systems over the past decade, including Zeus and Arrhenius. In addition, Kratos' CEO Eric DeMarco stated in the press release that the company's mission is to be a disruptive transformation agent within the U.S. national security industrial base and market. Their focus is on rapidly designing, developing, producing, and deploying affordable systems and technology. DeMarco further mentioned the recent success of the Mayhem Hypersonic Systems Program award in partnership with strategic ally Lados citing it as an example of their ongoing achievements. The Mayhem Project stands as the U.S. Air Force's latest venture in hypersonic development. Its objective revolves around acquiring test beds for new jet engines and other crucial components necessary for designing hypersonic aircraft, 
such as Lockheed's SR-72. The origins of the project can be traced back to August 2020, when the Air Force Research Laboratory publicly requested proposals for an expendable hypersonic multi-mission air-breathing demonstrator. The Mayhem demonstrator, according to the expectations of the U.S. Air Force, was envisioned to be larger in size compared to the AARW or AGM-183 A air-launched rapid response weapon. While details were limited, the Air Force Research Laboratory informed Aviation Week that Mayhem could be described as a multi-mission cruiser, primarily focused on achieving sustained hypersonic flight capabilities independently of specific payloads. Further information was revealed in the 2021 Fiscal Year Budget Proposal, shedding light on the concept of this multi-mission cruiser. It disclosed that the project would incorporate a multi-cycle engine or a dual-mode scramjet. While some sources suggested that the engine configuration could be a turbine-based combined cycle TBCC arrangement, consisting of scramjets along with regular jet turbines, the concept of a missile capable of achieving both supersonic and hypersonic speeds, without the need for a separate rocket booster, opened up new possibilities for the Air Force. The ability to vary speeds between low and high ranges could lead to innovative military approaches and strategies for combat aircraft. In early December 2022, the Air Force Research Laboratory, AFRL, made an announcement regarding the awarding of a contract to LADOS for the development of a hypersonic air vehicle under the Mayhem Project. The contract, worth $334 million, tasked LADOS with the design and development of a hypersonic platform that surpasses the range and payload capacity of all existing systems currently employed by the American military. The experimental design of the hypersonic air vehicle is specifically intended for conducting the strike, intelligence, surveillance, and reconnaissance missions. The Pentagon's daily contracting notice mentioned the award of a single indefinite delivery and indefinite quantity contract. The notice further highlighted, this program aims to deliver a larger class air-breathing hypersonic system capable of executing multiple missions with a standardized payload interface representing a significant technological advancement and future capability. The project will be executed at Wright-Patterson Air Force Base in Ohio and other bases with an estimated completion date of October 2028. Lidos, in a separate press release, provided more details about the Mayhem project, stating that it would utilize scramjet engines to generate thrust, enabling the vehicle to travel across long distances at speeds exceeding Mach 5. Additionally, renders were released, showcasing an unmanned hypersonic air vehicle featuring a single engine fed by a large air intake located under the fuselage. The prototype vehicle featured a long and slender fuselage along with a delta wing configuration and a vertical tail. The Air Force Research Laboratory, AFRL, highlighted that this design is anticipated to have the capability to carry payloads five times the mass and double the range of existing technology systems. Lido's president, Steve Cook, emphasized that the company would leverage its extensive investments, knowledge, and achievements in the field of hypersonics to deliver the next generation of air-breathing hypersonic systems. He expressed the team's preparedness to undertake this crucial mission for the nation. American analysts have pointed out the resemblance between the Mayhem prototype and Lockheed Martin's proposed SR-72 aircraft, which serves as the successor to the renowned Blackbird. While the SR-72 is still in the developmental phase, some renders published by Skunk Works bear a striking resemblance to the Mayhem prototype and its intended use. It is evident that major global powers are directing their resources toward hypersonic missiles and aircraft. In 2018, President Putin introduced the KH-47 M2 Kinzhal hypersonic missile system through a video demonstration showcasing the missile detonating over Florida. China has also made similar advancements with its Dongfeng-17 missile. While Russia's and China's missiles are costly one-shot systems, valued at around $100 million per missile and capable of flying at speeds exceeding Mach 5, the U.S. Air Force USAF, plans to outmatch both nations with its Mayhem hypersonic aircraft. The Mayhem aircraft is projected to achieve speeds of Mach 10 and possess the ability to be refueled and reused. 
If successful, this $334 million investment has the potential to shift the balance of hypersonic warfare against these global powers. The USAF has been striving to develop a hypersonic aircraft since the early days of the Cold War, particularly following the introduction of the SR-71 Blackbird. Under the collaboration of Kratos and Lydos, this long-sought goal may finally be realized. Thank you for watching our video. We hope you enjoyed the content presented.